things that trended last year are different from things, things that, that are trending, trending this, this year. year. Yeah. So you should be aware, you should be conversant with the with wedding trends so that I mean you are up to date because um, as a bride I'm coming to you um, I want you to um, to recommend like things to me I don't want outdated trends I want you to be a soji vendor soji <laughs> wedding planner if that makes well, sense hey beautiful people welcome to another episode of Nigeria Wedding Street my name is Zainab and I'm Uluatose or Pig Diva for short <laughs> So guys, of course from the title you can already tell what we are going to be talking about. We are going to be talking about how to be successful in the event industry, how to be a successful event planner. I mean, it can be very rough sometimes in, I think any any career you find yourself, or specifically um, the event industry can be very rough. Um, so Opidiva here has been very, very generous um, to spill some secrets, to spill some um, tips. Um, to event um, upcoming event planners, um, even event planner that, event planners that have been in the game for a while but have been finding it hard to just um, you know create a balance and create a name for themselves. Um, she has been very generous enough to you know just spill out some tips that would take your business, your event business from um, from should I say from um, from average to top. I mean, who best to take us on this journey? Take us this masterclass, who best? Um, she has been planning weddings for about eight years now, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so, I what do you have for us today? Um, how to thrive in an event industry, generally. Mm -hmm. You should be able to work under pressure. Mm, that's number one. Yes, that is number one. Yeah. It's not everything. It's fine, a lot of things might happen on the event day. Mm -hmm. You might not quickly get the vendors coming early. So, it's not everything you'll be shouting, hello, where are you? Yeah, it's this way, that. Always stay calm. Mm. Always stay calm. Before you can get yes. high, high blood pressure. <laughs> always stay calm. Then, as an event planner, always have a plan B. Don't stick to your plan A. Always have a plan B. That, okay, what if? No, but you can stick to plan A now, just have plan B. Yes. You know when plan A does not go well? Well, right when now. plan A does not go yeah. well, so you, 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 you go with your go plan, back B. To plan B. Yes. Yeah. If you sleep, okay, you'll be, you'll be like, okay, let me just stick to the plan A. You always have a good fine, you stick to your plan A, but mm -hmm. always have a plan B. Yeah. Because most times, like my own uh, usher, sometimes they might actually disappoint me. The, one of them might call me that, okay, hello, hello, ma'am, I won't be able to come for the event today. I'm having a headache, backache. They'll give you all silly excuses. So, what if I had not even gotten an extra mm -hmm. usher? Because whenever I am, getting ushers for an event. Mm -hmm. I used to get extra ushers. Maybe like, take for instance, I'm supposed to give the clients 10 ushers. Mm -hmm. I'll get like 15. Mm -hmm. So what if anything happens? I'll so get like is it, is it that some will be on standby? Or yeah, some will be on standby. 15 of them will go? No, some will be on standby. Okay. Five of them will be on standby. Okay. So once, early that morning, once someone called me that, hello ma, I won't be able to come and order. I'll call one. Hmm. There's five on standby. I'll call one of them. If that one says, okay, I'm not around as well, I've been booked. I'll call the second person. So out of that, Five, at least one or two of them will be available. So always have a plan B. Event planning is not easy. So just imagine now if you didn't have like standby yes. ushers, what yes. would you do? You now start running yeah, everywhere. Start running you start start start. <laughs> Even the plan, the event itself, your your attitude to the event will yes. change because yes. some things are not settled yes. back then. For cases like, for example, like um, venue wise now, okay. I mean. If you know you're planning an outdoor wedding, I mean, this period now is rainy season. It's rainy season. So you should have a plan B. Yeah, even, even before my client told me that they want to use, even maybe at the time that they are telling me that they are thinking of using an out there, and out, maybe a garden or an out, I would advise them that this is a rainy season. Mm. That can work. Hmm. So but that can if, work. What if the wedding, what if the client says, oh my, I want an outdoor wedding? They probably probably will go for a garden where a garden probably a garden that has an event center. So in case it's rain, mm -hmm. we'll be able to move. Yeah. But that means that means we have to confirm from the all manager if they are not having events in that particular hall that day. In, in this case, I think it's for the client to move her wedding yes. to another season. To another season. That's like to another one. want to use I mean, an event center. If it's done, 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 that you must use outdoor. Exactly. Because just if you want to use an event center, you can just go on with your plan. Yeah. Secondly, you have a, you have to create a strong team. Your relationship with your team matters a lot. You shouldn't be a type of person that will be like, okay, every time you're always asked with your team. 
your team members. You should be able to create a good relationship with them. It's not everything you'll be getting angry with them. Okay, maybe they do, you just get angry, flare up and all that. It's not like every time you'll be getting angry with them. You should be able to create a good relationship so that they will be able to work with you for long. Because if you don't, one thing I notice is that if you don't create a good relationship, with your team, that is when you see them working for another event plan. While working for you? Yes. But once you create a good relationship with them, yeah. wow. In fact, they will not even be able to work with them because they will be like, ah, oh, this person, this person is actually mm -hmm. good to us. Yeah. So you should be able to create a good team. So the third one, you should be creative. Mm -hmm. Starting from creating your floor plan. Mm -hmm. Starting from creating, the, having your mood board, at least. So you should be creative. It's not just, um, okay, let me just go to the venue that they are planning with me. It has to do with, okay, you source for good vendors, not ordinary vendors, good vendors, good vendors, that you feel, okay, this one that will be able to work with very well. You should be able to work hand in hand with your vendors. Then from there, you'll be able to create a floor plan. Is this, this is still part of being creative? Yes, being creative. Then you create the mood, you have your own mood board as well. Okay, how do you want? The mood board includes um, everything, like the decoration, that's um, maybe the, the bride or groom wants a rustic, is it rustic, um, rustic. theme wedding yeah, or rustic. garden theme wedding? Do they want what type of cake? Do they Winter want? Theme. Yes. Yeah. What type of cake do they want? Do they want a um, three tier or a two tier wedding mm -hmm. cake? Okay. Then what type of wedding dress do they want? So everything should be on the mood board. Okay. Yeah. So another one, you should have a strong um, networking capability. Um, sorry, I have something to say yeah. as part of um, being creative. Yeah. Um, even aside being creative with the whole wedding planning yeah. process, I believe that as a wedding planner, as an event planner, you should be aware of the trends yeah. that are in the event mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. truth be told, like last things that trended last year are different from things that, that are trending trend this, this year. year. Yeah. So you should be aware. You should be conversant with the tr with wedding trends so that I mean you are up to date because. Um, as a bride, I'm coming to you. Um, I want you to um, to recommend like things to me. I don't want outdated trends. I want you to be a soji vendor, soji <laughs> wedding planner. If that makes sense. Plan, yeah. Do you get? So you should you should just go with the with the with the vibe. Go with the trend. Don't just sit down and yeah and be too comfortable. Everything is changing every day. Every day so you yeah. should also be on your toes. And, yeah. You know. Um, creative, you know, and all that. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So the, I think the fourth one now. Yeah, fourth. So you should be able to have a strong networking capabilities. Okay. You, like I used to tell my interns, you market your business hmm. both online and offline. Okay. You carry your business on your head like Carito. gala. <laughs> was it like a few days I was going, I was going out, and I had um, I you know all those guys that normally sell um outfits like wears hmm. on that um, this um you know Padia Boston. Okay. So I was hearing the guy, it was mark the way he was marketing his business. He said, Now nah, here Rihanna they pick uh, a <laughs> whole outfit. Now here Beyonce they pick a whole outfit. So I just smiled. I was just like, this is a good marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, but a lot of people, nah, nah, yeah, let me even go and even see what that guy is yeah. saying. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah. So you should be able to carry your business mm -hmm. on your head, market your business very well, both online and offline. Some people would say, oh, I'm not online. You're yeah. a wedding planner, you're not, <laughs> you're not online. Not what, online. Are you doing? what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, even if it's not you that is managing your online yeah. platform, get someone to manage for you. But yeah. you need to, you need that online presence. Because even if, like, refer, even if, oh, I don't do online things, um, I, I get referrals from people. It, it doesn't work like that because even people that will get referrals for you um, to use you, they would want to see yeah. the works that you've done. Yeah. So how do you see the works I have done yeah. if I'm not online, <laughs> right? As a, as a wedding planner, your portfolio is your Instagram page or your whatever, your Pinterest page or whatnot. That's your portfolio. That's what people go to see that, oh, mm, okay, this person knows what she's doing and stuff. And don't sell your, yourself cheap as well. Maybe, I don't know if that will come up. Yeah. Would, are you going to talk about that? No, 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 no Okay, no, let me no. just speak it up and talk, talk about it. Maybe you use that as the last one. Yeah. Okay, I hope I <laughs> as don't the last it. one. I, I, hope I, don't <laughs> I hope I don't The fifth one. Okay, so, which one? The, which one are you talking about now? No, 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 I'm, I'm done with mine. They're done with everything. Yeah, so that's why I said you should use your own as So, this is my last one. Yes, the fifth this is the last one. five points. Okay, yes. no, okay. Okay, um... Yeah, so as a wedding planner, as um, an upcoming wedding planner, or even, um, I, 
think any event planner to be honest any wedding planner no matter the stage you are at you, you shouldn't sell yourself cheap don't say oh uh, don't collect i don't know how to put it don't 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 say oh uh, because i am upcoming i'll now collect peanuts mm -hmm. as yes as um as what do they call it your, as, your food, as charges your charges don't say oh because i'm upcoming yeah. no, let me not charge too much yeah. of course you need to put that into consideration i mean you never blow rich the other people right but try to find the balance don't say oh because i'm trying to uh, find my feet or because i'm trying to get clients i'll now be collecting mm -hmm. peanuts as yeah. you know charges that doesn't make sense how would you grow you are not going to grow now because i mean you're just collecting peanuts peanuts if you peanuts. do that for the first year would you yes. do that for the second year yes. Yes. because the person that will refer you the person that will refer someone to you will say oh this was how much you collected when from me yes. so if you go to the if the person comes to you and you're not charging higher the person will be like Mm, it's better for me to go to another, you know, more experienced wedding more experience planner. Now. Wedding you, you planner yes. So just try to strike a balance. Don't um, short change yourself. Don't collect peanuts and say, oh, you know, and stuff. It can be hard. Just try to find a balance, like I said. Because, I mean, if you're upcoming, you're trying to grow your brand, you're trying to get more people, you know, and all that. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Those five tips, um, hopefully and they've been tested and trusted now yes, right tested so, <laughs> so definitely you can you know um you can use it and you definitely see a change in your business um yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you have anything to say drop your comments if you have any questions please feel free drop your comments as well we will be here to um to answer your questions um see you all in our next video bye bye, bye.